Greetings, one and all. Even though the 2018 NHL Winter Classic between the New York Rangers and the Buffalo Sabres doesn't even take place until New Year's Day 2018, it seems some very key details about the 2019 NHL Winter Classic have already been leaked to the public. According to Barstool Sports Chicago, the 2019 Winter Classic will feature an original six matchup as the Chicago Blackhawks once again take to the outdoor rink to face the Boston Bruins at Notre Dame Stadium. It will be the fifth time in the last six years that the Blackhawks will be part of an NHL outdoor event, with their most recent being the 2017 NHL Winter Classic against the St. Louis Blues at Bush Stadium. And it will also be the Bruins' third outdoor game, with their most recent being the 2016 NHL Winter Classic against the Montreal Canadiens at Gillette Stadium. The venue for this matchup, Notre Dame or Notre Dame, however you wish to call it, stadium, has never hosted an NHL game before, so the university will be seeing its first NHL hockey action when the two original six teams roll into town at the beginning of 2019. It is, however, important to note that no official announcement has been made by the NHL about the 2019 Winter Classic just yet, but this very announcement with the very same teams and the very same venue is expected to be made within the coming weeks, most likely by everybody's favourite Deputy Commissioner, Gary Bettman. Now, in terms of what I think about this matchup, why, oh why, oh why does it have to be the Chicago Blackhawks again? We have seen them play outdoors countless times in the last few seasons. Like I said earlier, five times in six seasons. That's a bit ridiculous. And seeing their arguably racist logo out there year after year is getting rather stale in my opinion. The Blackhawks constantly competing in the Winter Classic is stopping teams who have never had the honour of playing an outdoor game in the NHL the chance to give it a crack. Teams like the Carolina Hurricanes, the Arizona Coyotes, the Dallas Stars, the Tampa Bay Lightning or even the Florida Panthers have never taken part in an outdoor game. And even though most of these teams are in hotter climates or don't carry a large enough fan base compared to some of the bigger more popular teams in the league to justify them playing in this competition over these more popular teams, it seems rather unfair that these teams don't get their chance on the outdoor stage. Also, it has become a running joke in the NHL that you can't have an outdoor game in the NHL without the Blackhawks being involved or them being heavily favoured to go in it by the league, which, if it hasn't already, is starting to turn the Winter Classic event into a bit of a laughing stock within the league. And it should be, if we're going to go along this trend, it should be renamed to the Blackhawk Classic or the Chicago Showdown to reflect the league's blatant bias on putting Chicago or a popular team like Chicago in the Winter Classic every year. However, the reason for teams making repeat appearances in the Winter Classic and the choice of which teams get to play in this event is predicated on a decision by the league's top dogs as to who they think will help them make the most money out of the event. Essentially, they sit down and go, which two teams can we make play each other and will they make us the most money? The way they figure that out boils down to two key factors. Number one, team popularity and number two, TV ratings. Chicago is one of America's largest and most popular hockey markets and companies like the NHL and NBC enjoy the fact that having a popular franchise in the Winter Classic means more people will watch the event, even if the Hawks have become a bit of a mainstay in the event at this point. The big companies who run this event enjoy the audience that comes with having the Hawks playing outdoors as it means more hockey fans are going to sit down on New Year's Day and watch the game compared to other NHL teams that are less popular. Remember, the more people that watch the game on TV, the more money television companies who have paid what you could assume a large amount of money by themselves for the rights to show the game on their network gain. So the more people that watch it, the more money the television companies get and the more likely they think that it was a profitable venture. Add the popular Big Bad Bruins to the mix of this Winter Classic and you have an original six matchup that has enough history, success and popularity between the two teams to carry a lot of interest in fans around the league and the world. For example, the NHL Winter Classic takes place at roughly 1pm or 12pm Eastern Time. That's about 5 or 6pm in British Time and about 6 or 7pm in the standard Central European Time. 
So it means that for you, for you guys across the pond, it's a nice uh, early afternoon event. For us, it's a nice early evening event. So we get to watch it as well and enjoy it just as much as you do. Now, for example, one of the previous times the Winter Classic held an original six matchup was the 2014 NHL Winter Classic between the Detroit Red Wings and the Toronto Maple Leafs, which still holds the attendance record for an outdoor NHL game at over 105,000 people. So this formula has proven to be successful in the past, and the NHL hope it is successful once more this time around. Even if it means having the Blackhawks, who have been in a competition like this five out of the last six years, even if it means having them play in the event again and again, making the collective eyes of the NHL fanbase roll, and making us release a deep sigh of disappointment once again. So there you go. What do you think about this 2019 Winter Classic matchup? Is it good? bad or do you think Chicago needs to take a break from outdoor games for just a few years I know what my response would be let me know in the comments below I'd love to hear what you guys think but thank you very much for watching guys I hope you have enjoyed please feel free to like subscribe share or watch some of my other videos thank you very much for watching and goodbye